hello guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video i've decided to start learning the polish language this language has a reputation of being the most difficult language but let's see how i'll do in about three to six months so i've got my notebook with me and my pen with me so let's hop into the video and let's start learning together number one well before we start uh i'm going to be learning from a channel called polish with blondes so just do them a favor and go to their channel and also subscribe and like their video and if you're a foreigner like me and you want to try to learn polish i encourage you to go visit their channel and maybe try to learn from their videos as well and if you have another channel that you've been learning from i encourage you to just write it in the comment section so that maybe I will have multiple channels that I can learn Polish from. So let's go back into the video. Proszę. Proszę. Which means, here you go. For example, proszę bardzo. When a waiter or waitress comes over with your food. Pro, proszę. Proszę. So, if, if on, on that last letter, the E, it is a small thing. Does it change the, the pronunciation? Because is, is it proche or it is? I don't know how to explain it. But let me try. Let me try to listen carefully as she's talking. That's what they would say. Or when giving your document to the hotel reception, you would say proche or proche bardzo, which is proche bardzo, proche bardzo. It's just a. Mm, an even more polite way to say here you go. Proszę bardzo. And what would your answer be? Dziękuję. Or dziękuję bardzo. Dziękuję. Dziękuję bardzo. I know this one. This one is one of the first few words that every foreigner learns once they arrive in Poland. Dziękuję, which means thank you. Yeah, I know this one. So, proszę bardzo. Dziękuję bardzo. Okay. Dziękuję bardzo. Proszę can also mean please. For example, when saying please help me, proszę pomóż mi. But this. Proszę. So proszę means here you go and please. Okay. So it's proszę pomóż mi. Proszę pomóż mi. Is that how you say? This isn't used so often. Otherwise, in everyday situations, you would use the word poproszę, poproszę, which also means please. As an example, one coffee, please. Poproszę kawę. Wait, 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 wait. So, what is the difference between proszę and poproszę? Is it the same or there's a, some kind of a difference because here she's saying proche means please and po proche also means please is there like a different difference or maybe 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 proche is like please when you are asking for something like maybe asking for a favor and then po proche but still doesn't make sense po proche cave one coffee please so what's the difference if you know if there are any polish people who are watching this video please help me understand the difference between proche and poproche poproche kawa which could also mean can i get a coffee please or when you're in a bakery and you want to ask can i get this bread please poproche tamtem chleb poproche tamtem chleb Poproche tam tam chleb. Can I have that bread, please? Poproche tam tam chleb. Okay. Chleb. So, poproche. Can I get? Then tam tam. I would assume it's that tam tam tam, and then chleb. I would assume it's bread. I think. I think yeah. Poproche tam tam chleb. Okay. Understandable. Oh, poproche tam tam chleb. Number two. Przepraszam. 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 So I know. I, I know this. I'm sorry. I know this one. And yes. excuse me. For example, przepraszam. 
Gdzie jest ulica Nowy Świat? O, o przepraszam. Gdzie jest przystanek tramwajowy? Oh, 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 oh. oh these words, these words are a lot. Przepraszam. Przepraszam. Yes, I know this one. Przepraszam. Gdzie jest przystanek tramwajowy? Tramwajowy. Tramwajowy. Przepraszam, gdzie jest przystanek tramwajowy? Przepraszam, gdzie jest przystanek tramwajowy? No, okay. Since, since the objective of this part is to learn the word przepraszam, I'll stick to przepraszam. To <laughs> I'll stick to przepraszam. Przepraszam. Yes. Gdzie jest is of course where is ah where is gist gist okay and yes is the third form of the verb to be and when you ask for directions starting with the word przepraszam then you're obviously expecting an answer so someone might say o tam w prawo tam w lewo tam na prawo tam na prawo over there on the right tam tam na pravo tam v levo over there on the left ah so so pravo is right levo is left i think I, i'll need to write it down pravo is right and levo is left levo is left Tam na pravo. There was a word which, which she said like previously, which was tam, tam ten. I think it was tam ten. Yes, it was tam ten, and now it's tam. So, and I think it is some. It, it, I think these words are similar because, on the previous phrase, I, I believe she was saying, "Can I have that bread?" And tam ten was the word that was used. Now, now we are using tam. So how do you know when to use tam ten or tam? Yeah, I think I need I need to research on that one. Tam na lewo. Tam na lewo. For musi pan pani iść w tamtą stronę. <laughs> musi pan pani iść w tamtą stronę musi pan o pani iść w tamta stronie you have to go that way oh this is a lot this is a lot musi so you're saying pan o pani is formal for addressing a man or a woman. Oh, so a man would be pan and a woman pani? I think so, yes. So pan would be for a man and pani will be for a woman, I think. So mushi pan or pani is vi tamta stronie. Another example, przepraszam, ale nie rozumiem wszystkiego po polsku. <laughs> I think I need to learn this one I, because I will need to use it. Przepraszam, ale nie rozumiem wszystkiego po polsku. Wszystkiego? Is it wszystkiego? Let me let me just rewind a bit. Przepraszam, ale nie rozumiem wszystkiego po polsku. Okay. This you could answer. Nic się nie stało. 
Nic się nie stało. Nic się nie stało. Which means nothing has happened. Huh? Oh, in literary terms, it means nothing has happened. But somehow when you're saying it in Polish, it means it's all right, I think. So nic się nie stało. Nic się nie stało. Okay. Or nic nie szkodzi. O, nic nie szkodzi. Nic nie szkodzi. Szko szkodzi. Nic nie szkodzi. Nic się nie stało. Nic nie szkodzi. Or if you're trying to understand what someone's saying to you, but you don't understand every single word, mm -hmm. you could say może pan, pani mówić wolniej? Mówić wolniej? Mówić wolniej? Can you speak slower? Oh, okay. Może. What does może mean though? Is it can you? Może. Może pan o, o pani mówić wolniej. 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 Means slower. Mówić wolniej. Przepraszam. Czy może pani, pan mówić wolniej? Ne Przepraszam. Czy może, czy może pani, pan mówić wolniej? Okay. Może pani, pan mówić wolniej? Next mm -hmm. we have phrases for a very simple conversation. Okay. Someone can ask you. Test. Co słychać? Co słychać? Co słychać? Co słychać? Is it hat? To this you could just... Co słychać? Co, Co słychać? słychać? To this you could answer. Oh, wszystko dobrze. Wszystko dobrze. <laughs> Ah, oh, all these words, man. Swisco dobrze. Swisco. Swisco dobrze. Everything is good. Swisco. Is there any simpler way of saying everything is good? Like, can I just say dobrze? Swisco dobrze. Swisco. Dziękuję. Dobrze. Dziękuję. What about if I just say Dobrze, dziękuję. And then I remove this Swiczko. Swiczko. And then I just say Dobrze, dziękuję. Like, good, thank you. Would that come across as rude or something? A u ciebie? A u ciebie? A u ciebie? W porządku. Dziękuję. W porządku. So this is a response. So a u ciebie, a u ciebie, is it like after I say dobrze uh, dziękuję, and then I also have to ask the person. So a u ciebie, so I say dobrze dziękuję, a u ciebie, and then they respond with por porzadku dziękuję. I don't know. Yeah. Useful expression number four. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Oh, the famous dzień dobry. This one, I know it. I know it. Even if I wake up, dzień dobry. During the day, dzień dobry. Yes, I know this one. I know. Let's go. Let's You're go. You're in a hotel and you have a reservation for one night or a couple of nights. Yes. Dzień dobry. Mam rezerwację na jedną Dwie, trzy noce. Dzień dobry. Mam re rezerwację na jedna, dwie, trzy noce. Dzień dobry. Mam rezerwację na jedna, dwie, trzy noce. So if I want to say hello, I have a reservation for three nights, I'll say 
Dzień dobry, mam rezerwację na trzy noce. Ok, I think I got this one. Dzień dobry, mam rezerwację na jedną noc. Jedną noc. Dwie noce. Dwie. Trzy noce. Cztery noce. Cztery. Pięć, Pięć noce. Let's say it's just one night, then it would be... Wait, 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 wait. So it's... Jeden noce. Dwa... Dwa... Dwa noce. Trzy... Trzy noce. Cztery... Cztery noce. Cztery... Cztery noce. And pięć noce. So I believe that's one, two, three, four, five. So it's jeden, dwa, trzy, uh, cztery, cztery, pięć. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Dzień dobry. Mam rezerwację na jedną noc na nazwisko. Nazwisko. Nazwisko, so I assume nazwisko is the name, right? So, dzień dobry, mam rezerwację na jedna noce na nazwisko Emanuel. Emanuel, yes. Somehow, somehow Polish people pronounce my name as Emanuel, so I'm not... I'm not used to pronouncing it this way when whenever I'm speaking to anyone who's Polish or if I'm trying to speak Polish, I use Emmanuel. So please bear with me on that one. So, Dzień dobry, mam rezerwację na jedna noce na nazwisko Emmanuel. I think so. Phrase number five. When you want to call for a taxi, when you're a guy, you will say... Dzień dobry. Chciałbym zamówić taksówkę na adres. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, these big words, these big words. Maybe let's do it again. Let's try it again. Guy, you will say. Mm -hmm. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Chciałbym Dzień zamówić taksówkę na adres. Dzień dobry. Chciałabym, chciałabym zamówić taksówkę na oh, adres. So that's, the that's the difference. For a woman, it's chciałabym. And for a man, it's chciałbym. I think chciałbym and chciałabym. I think so. Am I getting the pronunciation correct? Dzień dobry. Chciałabym. Chciałabym zamówić na adres. Taksówkę na adres. And then you say the address. If you have trouble pronouncing names of uh, streets in Polish and so on, then I suggest you watch one of the previous lessons where I walk you through all the letters in the Polish alphabet, all the pronunciation and letter combinations. I think that would be really helpful for you. Mm -hmm. And the last one, o której godzinie? Which means o której godzinie? O której godzinie? At what time? Oh, First. at what time? O której godzinie? O której godzinie? Example. O której godzinie odjeżdża pociąg? <laughs> o której godzinie odjeżdża pociąg? I'll probably need to use this in a, at the train station. So, przepraszam, o której godzinie? <laughs> Wait, let's, let's, let's listen to that again. Let's listen to that again. Odjeżdża. 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 O której godzinie? O gdzie? Odjeżdża. O której godzinie odjeżdża, odjeżdża pociąg? pociąg. O po that's the spelling of pociąg. 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 
o której godzinie odjeżdża pociąg? Przepraszam, o której godzinie odjeżdża pociąg? I think I got it, right? Przepraszam, o której godzinie odjeżdża pociąg? I think so, maybe. O której godzinie odjeżdża pociąg? If you're in a hotel and you want to ask when the checkout time is, przepraszam, o której godzinie jest wymeldowanie? Przepraszam. O której godzinie jest wymeldowanie? Wymeldowanie. O której godzinie jest wymeldowanie? Wymeldowanie? I think I got it. O której godzinie jest wymeldowanie? O której godzinie jest wymeldowanie? Przepraszam. O której godzinie jest wymeldowanie? Ok. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments below if there is another phrase maybe that I missed that you think would be helpful when traveling to Poland. And make sure you check out other lessons in the series Polish for beginners. Okay, so this was me trying to learn Polish. And I believe you have noticed that they are very difficult words to pronounce. Some of them are very lengthy and long, but I believe we'll get there. So this was just the first video of me trying to learn Polish. And I think in the coming days, I'll be trying to learn each and every day. I'll be, I'll probably rewatch this video so that I just get everything in, in, in the system and I just try to get as much knowledge as possible. But if you like this video, please don't just like my video, but also go to their channel. Remember, it's Polish with Blondes. Polish with Blondes. Go to their channel and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to them, like their video and possibly leave a comment to them if you have something that you want to comment. and. Do that on my channel as well. Don't forget to like it on my channel as well. But until next time, see you.